Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes, uh, may you excuse me for my very French, deep French accent, please. Um, well, uh, I want to, to present you uh, uh, um, a study, uh, a small epidemiologic study uh, about uh, uh, the coverage of uh, vaccination against hepatitis B uh, in a miscellaneous uh, population of workers. Um, we know that uh, infection against uh, hepatitis B can be very easily prevented uh, by uh, vaccination. And uh, um, we know that uh, uh, this uh, vaccination, in fact, uh, against hepatitis B is not really very documented. Uh, in fact, we don't know really um, uh, when we are looking for uh, the prevalence uh, of this uh, vaccination, we don't know for the workers uh, uh, which uh, rate, which level um, of these workers are vaccinated. And essentially, uh, we don't know if there is uh, a relationship between the risk exposure to be contaminated by hepatitis B uh, and the, the, the kind of jobs, and we don't know this kind of relationship uh, exists. Um, we know uh, that the, the, the rate of uh, uh, vaccination and immunization uh, in Western country is quite low. Um, uh, essentially, uh, the vaccination uh, against hepatitis B is uh, targeted uh, against the high risk group, professional high risk group to be contaminated. And uh, uh, essentially, we see that uh, it's, it's concerned the healthcare workers. It's uh, the main group which is concerned uh, by this uh, vaccination. But we, we, we don't know really uh, what is about the other uh, jobs and other uh, group which can be exposed to this kind of contamination. Um, uh, in fact, uh, we know that uh, uh, the risk to be contaminated uh, during the work uh, is quite uh, low, it's quite rare. Um, but uh, uh, it's uh, interesting uh, to uh, know that uh, uh, the risk uh, um, to be uh, contaminated uh, when, uh, for example, uh, there is a, a transmission after, after a single stick uh, is very high uh, when the blood uh, contains hepatitis B. It's uh, around 30 uh, percent. And we can uh, compare this risk with, uh, for example, another virus, which is hepatitis C. And for the hepatitis C, it's quite lower. It's tenfold lower. It's around 3 percent. And again, uh, if we compare with uh, another virus, which is uh, uh, HIV, uh, for uh, uh, the same kind of risk of contamination uh, to be stick uh, with the blood contaminated, it's again uh, tenfold lower. Uh, in fact, uh, if when we compare the risk to be contaminated by hepatitis B to the risk to be contaminated by HIV, it's tenfold lower for the uh, HIV. And, uh, um, uh, we, we know also that uh, uh, the, the target group, uh, which is uh, uh, which should be uh, vaccinated, is the healthcare workers, and uh, we know what is it about the other uh, group of workers. The the aim of this uh, study was to assess uh, the prevalence of hepatitis B vaccination and an underline vaccination and not immunization. Vaccination and not immunization is very different. Among a population of uh, workers, uh, as we can see, uh, uh, there are quite uh, a lot of different jobs. Uh, and uh, we are taking into account the risk to be uh, exposed and to be contaminated by a uh, virus of uh, hepatitis B. Um, the uh, study was conducted uh, among a large uh, population of French, French workers. Uh, it was a, a cross-sectional study, and uh, all the workers were recruited uh, from the uh, Medical Occupational Center 
uh, during their, uh, uh, every two years, uh, there is a, a medical examination uh, uh, which is paid by the uh, employers. And uh, we can recruit them uh, at this time. Uh, this population uh, included uh, a, a very large uh, population, uh, housemates, uh, police officers, uh, technicians, administrative agents, electricians, healthcare workers. And all of the jobs were classified in three groups. Uh, the first group uh, included uh, people with the high risk to be contaminated. And in this group, for example, uh, they were included, obviously, uh, healthcare workers, and uh, also uh, workers who are exposed to, to, to waste, uh, waste things. Uh, in the second group, it's uh, uh, a middle risk uh, to be contaminated, and it's the second group we included, for example, uh, police officers, because they, they could bite by uh, something uh, during their work. And uh, um, in the housemates also, were in the second group. And uh, in the third group, it was a low risk uh, to be contaminated. And for example, in the third group, in the low risk, we have uh, administrative agents. Um, the data were obtained from uh, different sources. Uh, um, the first one, it was uh, the personal file. And uh, uh, also, uh, obviously, main data uh, were obtained by uh, the questionnaire from the uh, medical occupational file. Um, the results, we have uh, a quite large population of workers. Uh, as you can see, um, there are 3,000 uh, workers. And uh, uh, it's very uh, large and very representative of the uh, French working population. Um, the first table, on the first table, uh, it's uh, the uh, group of the high occupational risk exposure, uh, which uh, included, for example, uh, healthcare workers, uh, I, I said before or uh, also, for example, uh, uh, people who are exposed uh, to uh, uh, waste stuff or something like that. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, uh, the person who are vaccinated. But in fact, uh, vaccinated means they have uh, one injection or more of vaccine. In fact, it doesn't mean it could be immunized, only vaccinated. And uh, uh, for this high risk group, uh, in fact, we find uh, only um, less than two thirds, two, two thirds of the workers. Uh, and uh, it seems quite uh, low because it's a high risk group. Uh, non vaccinated, around 20%. And also uh, the same for the unknown uh, status to be vaccinated or not. But we can uh, say that uh, it's probably uh, for the uh, unknown statue. Uh, it's probably the same than non-vaccinated. They are probably non-vaccinated. For the uh, second uh, group, uh, it's uh, uh, the medium occupational risk exposure. And if you remember, for example, the, the policemen uh, who can be bite uh, during their uh, job uh, were included, and some other uh, jobs uh, were included in this group. And here, uh, for the uh, vaccinated, we have only a quarter of this uh, group, of this population, who are vaccinated. And uh, uh, for the non-vaccinated, uh, one third and uh, more than another third uh, with uh, uh, both is probably uh, non-vaccinated. Uh, it's uh, uh, almost the majority or three quarters of the uh, population. And uh, uh, finally, uh, it's uh, with the low occupational risk exposure. Uh, for example, we included in this population who are the administrative workers, uh, and uh, the risk is very, um, very low. And uh, 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 half of the uh, population is vaccinated. Uh, no information. It's amazing uh, about uh, uh, the non-vaccinated and unknown statue. Uh, which is almost probably the same as non-vaccinated, uh, another half. 
Uh, in fact, the studies show there is absolutely no relationship uh, between the rates of uh, uh, hepatitis B vaccination and the level and the rate of occupational risk exposure. Because as you can see, uh, you can have a medium risk and a low rate of vaccination. And it's a, it's a shame. Uh, globally, uh, half of the studied uh, working population is vaccinated. It's quite a, a low rate globally. Um, uh, um, we can uh, say that uh, uh, the neural vaccination policy uh, and, and coverage against hepatitis B uh, are missing the target. And uh, uh, in fact, in this case, uh, the French uh, uh, occupational medicine uh, have uh, uh, not uh, uh, reached uh, the goal. Um, information. Uh, regarding uh, HBV vaccination, HBV carrier, and response to HBV uh, vaccination are often inappropriate. Uh, in France, we have the problem for the, the, the people uh, who refuse uh, this vaccination because uh, they are afraid uh, to get a neurological disease. And uh, because of the neurological disease, uh, they refuse that. And there is quite a a uh, high rate of medical doctors, uh, because of the problem of neurological disease, uh, they don't recommend uh, workers and people generally uh, to be uh, vaccinated. And uh, in fact, uh, the efficiency uh, of the vaccine, uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the efficiency of the, the vaccine uh, is not known uh, for the workers. Uh, and uh, there is, in fact, no uh, comprehensive relationship uh, of the workers that uh, uh, they could be uh, contaminated during their work, uh, for example, uh, uh, including, uh, for example, the uh, policemen. Uh, globally, this study confirms the low prevalence of complete uh, hepatitis B vaccination. And uh, I underline uh, the fact that uh, uh, the real immunization is, in fact, probably quite lower than the, uh, the uh, rate of vaccination, and probably a lot less than and the half of the population is really immunized. Uh, working population, uh, a lot less than the, the half of the population is not immunized uh, against uh, hepatitis B. Um, despite uh, that uh, small proportion of workers is susceptible to uh, contact uh, uh, HBV infection, uh, we uh, recommend that uh, uh, an universal hepatitis B vaccination for the old workers, it could be more efficient, uh, to be considered as a priority uh, because uh, uh, it can be uh, paid by the employers and the cost of vaccination uh, in France and generally in Western countries is uh, very low and uh, included uh, in the price of the occupational medical uh, examination. In uh, conclusion, uh, the hepatitis B vaccination should be a prerequisite for all the working population, and also uh, this kind of vaccination could be useful uh, in the uh, non-occupational exposure, uh, for example, traveling, and uh, so on. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>